Hi girls. <laughs> you like how I sneak in and out. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Uh, oh, I need to remember. My, oh gosh, I need to remember to get my glasses. Hi guys. So I thought I would come on and uh, do a little project with you this morning. Now I didn't, I didn't give you a text because I know it's early for a lot of you and I know that um, you may not be able to join me. So I didn't want to wake anybody up by sending a text because it's 948 here, so seven, it would be like 648 where my kids are. So yeah, I don't think I want to do that to them. So uh, anyway, if you if you happen to jump on, I'm glad you found me. And if you have to catch it on the replay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but um, we had some plans today. Um, we're going to meet um, uh, my mom and stepdad out uh, for a, kind of an early afternoon-y kind of, you know, little pizza and beer or whatever. <laughs> So, um, I thought I better do this while I can. Hey, Janet, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're kind of going to go celebrate a little bit. So, anyway, um, I, before I get started on the horse thing that I want, that that's what I'm here for, I want to show you again how to do the staining of your seam binding. So, let's talk about it. It won't take me long. So, it's just this really thin, fine, um, some of it is vintage. They are reproducing it again now. So who knows which batch you're going to get. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's got the look. It's got the movement. It's got the softness. It's thin. It's fantastic. So this particular one is Hug Snug. It's seam binding. The color is oatmeal. So I just pull a whole bunch off. So literally I just go like this. I just keep pulling, pulling, pulling until I get a bunch. Okay, and this is, so I'm gonna make a batch to show you. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Peggy. So I'm just going to wad it up here like this, okay? And in my pot here, I have two family-sized tea bags. There's two of them. And I just have a little bit of water and that's called steeping when you, um, when you do that. So let me show you the difference, how quickly it takes on the color. See that? It really takes it on quick. So I just put it in here. If you want to leave it set for a little bit, you can. Um, I used to wrap it with the tea bags and I would get kind of get spots on it a little bit. And, um, but, but one of my followers here, and oh gosh, was it Connie? I forget who, oh, I forget who, I got so many smart people that give me tips. I think it was her husband actually. I would do this, okay, get it all wadded up, and then I would rubber, oh, thank you for the stars. Happy birthday to me. Thank you, Dee Dee. That's so, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. It's like a little birthday present. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Aw, you made my day. Uh, so, okay, so you just wad it up like this, and then let me get a towel here just my mess okay so I'm gonna pop it in the microwave okay I'm going to just just I'll just tell you I'm gonna hit time cook three minutes power level five start I'm just gonna microwave it and you go through that uh, two or three times and it's done I don't do the rubber bands anymore I don't um, like it used to take three or four days to get it to dry thank you Brenda yay what a stars happy birthday to me again <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, guys. It's all so nice. Um, so, anyway, of course, we're not going to stand here and wait on three minutes, but when the th let's pretend the three minutes is over, okay? All right, so you're going to open it up. You're going to fluff it out. Woo, it's hot already. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's only, well, it's been 30 seconds. Okay, you're going to fluff it out after three minutes. You're going to re wad it back up, put it back in, set it for another three minutes at half. Let's say half formula. <laughs> oh man, I'm, you can tell I'm a painter. Uh, half strength, half power, and um, let it go again. Do the same thing and just keep doing it till it feels dry. Now it'll feel a little warm and kind of steamy um, after maybe three times of it. And what you'll want to do is just fluff it out on a table once it's feeling wrinkly and it'll dry fast. It'll dry really fast after that. So, okay. So that's a quickie how to do it. Good morning. I'm going to leave the seam binding over there and the tea over there. Okay, hang on. Let me get you flipped back around here. Um, 
I think I have, I think I have this all set. Hi, you guys. Oh, I forgot to get my glasses. Let me see if I can use I can get into my cabinet here. It's the only thing I, oh, you know, it's, where are my glasses? Oh, here, here's, here. This is my junk cabinet you guys are supposed to see in here. Okay. <laughs> I know sometimes you get a little peekaboo. It's a junk. And I don't know how to make it any better. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Um, I don't know how to make it any better because it's just dumb stuff. You know, it's dumb stuff and it's an awkward cabinet to reach because it's in the corner and it, it's hard to reach. So it's my hiding, it's my hiding cabinet. Oh, I can't, I can't see it. Please. Those are when I'm really up close. Thank you, Joe. I know I'm missing so many. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for those stars. What a nice birthday present. <laughs> hey, Sarah, thank you. Hi, Sherry Eddie. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that so much. It's so nice to hang out with your friends on your birthday, right? So nice. Okay, so hopefully I'm together. You know, I think I'm together. Okay, so, oh, yeah, I grabbed it. So what we're going to do, I'm, I picked up these horse bits at uh, Amish Country, right? And I showed you guys them, and I was going to put them on the website just plain, but I kind of had the itch to do something with them. So thank you, Penny. Thank you, Tina. Uh, so um, I'm going to dress them up, and then I think I'm going to put them on the website. So, um... I'll show you in a minute some that I've already made. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, honey. Thank you, guys. So nice to see you. Oh, there we go. Our three minutes is up. So I need to just go fluff them and put them back in again. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Andrea. Yay! I will. I will. Um, not too big because we're going antique shopping tomorrow. <laughs> we're leaving early. So uh, my friend Julie and I are going to go. So anyway, um, so we're just going to start with this one. Maybe, maybe I... Yeah, I'll just start with this one, that's fine. Okay, and then what I do is I add um, muslin shreds and lace and seam binding and all the things. So I got a pile of shreds here and we've talked about muslin shreds a bunch. And if you're like, I've never heard you talk about muslin shred, uh, maybe go to YouTube and look up Tammy Loves Vintage, type in muslin shreds and we do the same thing, I just rip it up. Muslin is like a curtain lining. I feel like I talk about it every video. So I would think, I would think most of you know that already. Oh no, is that thing gonna beep the whole time? If it is, um, I'll go shut her down. <laughs> so we, can't, we can't have a beeping thing there. Okay, so let me put you down now. All we're gonna do is, all we're gonna do is just start tying things on here. Um, so this one feels a little extra rustic to me. So I'm just going to probably go with that seam binding, maybe put a little bit of lace on it. Um, I need a darker piece. So, and I just tie it once, you guys. I don't, I don't mess with double knots and all that stuff. You don't have to make it harder than it is. Here's, here's a good example of um, tea stained, see how it gets kind of spotty and all that. So that's good. All right. So I need to snip this one or do I own it? If I, yeah. Cause I'm not going to leave this that long. Okay. I can snip that. All right. So let's snip that in half. I'm just using pieces here that I had hanging around and you want them to be all a little bit different. Okay. And you guys are not going to believe how cute this is going to turn out. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You're all going to want me to pick you up a horse bit. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm tie it. That, thing, that thing beeps again. We're going to have to, I don't know how many times it beeps before it gives up on you. Okay. Let's get some lace. Have some handmade lace here so we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to end up about that length i don't want to waste any so we're going to do that and then um maybe i'll do that let's see here oh it is going to keep beeping it, you guys probably can't even hear it um okay so i've got more old lace so this is just old old lace i go for the skinny um the skinny stuff 
Okay, so there's a couple of kinds. Oh, here's another kind here. Get this off of here. Sometimes when you're shopping, you can find little bundles like this. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's cute. Look at that one. That's super cute. Okay, so let's make that one the same length. Okay. Um, let's see here. Well, let me get these tidy. I've got three. That might be enough for this one anyway. Should have spaced them out a little bit. I was smushing them together. Okay, so let's tie this one in. And again, we talked about this yesterday. It was yesterday. We talked about, yeah, it was yesterday because of the greenery. We talked about texture. So that's kind of why you're going for all of the different tie-on elements, okay? You're going for texture. And it just makes things more interesting. Could you make this all unstained muslin? Yes. Could you do it all brand new ribbon from Hobby Lobby? Yes, you guys. I'm just giving you the inspiration. I like vintage, so I'm going vintage. There's no reason you couldn't do white and pink and do it up for a little kid's room or your bathroom or whatever, okay? It's really um, your style, your, um, your taste and how you want to do it. You can do it however. I'm just doing vintage. So... Think about that too when you're at um, your craft store. Look at their ribbons and pick up some skinny little ribbons. And you know, the ribbon there, some of it, oh, I, that's the same. It was a different color. I thought I was pulling on the wrong one, but it's the same. It's the same one, Ding Dong. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's where we are. And it's coming together. Now, hang on, I'll show you in a minute. Let me snip this off so it get it a little bit more evened up. Okay. It's still off a little bit, but I don't want to. I don't want to make it too short too early in the game. So here's where we are. Okay, I know we're not done yet, but I want to add some elements in that might be a little more fun. Um, I thought about adding in the pin, but I have a gold one. I have a gold bit, so I think I'm going to save that for the gold one. But you can see how already that would pop really nicely. Um, let me see. What else did I? Oh, I do want a piece of this. I pulled out, um, oh, I have a cute little, nah, no, I think I'm going to use this one. Um, I think I'm going to do a piece of old um, tape measure. And I, oh, there's the mail lady picking up you guys' orders from yesterday. I can hear her beeping her little machine. <laughs> so, okay, do I want to just, I think I may just hang this over the edge. Okay. And it's just going to get lost in here with everything else. Let me go a little bit longer. There you go. Okay. All right. So you could use that. I have this doily thing that I picked up. Oh, when did I get it? I, it doesn't matter. I got it. And I was thinking about putting a sliver of that in. Um, so what I would do, I'm going to cut it up. Oh, don't be sick. I know you're going to be sick at me. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I know you guys are going to be sick that I'm cutting on this, but you know, I think it's going to be adorable in there. And I've used some pieces off of it in my group already. <laughs> and you know what? You can't even tell I did it. So as long as I you know, don't get it too small, but I think it's just a cute little ribbon. I think it's adorable. I think it'll be great. So there you go. Also, look at things that you already have that you could cut up. Um, when you're at Goodwill, look at lace curtains. I've got a piece I saw in here on accident. I didn't mean to grab. I think I did. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a piece of vintage lace. I thought it was one of my curtain shreds, but no, that's vintage lace. Forget that. But you can cut up... Um, tablecloths and stuff like that. Uh, and it doesn't matter, like this has a line for me to cut with. You can just cut your strips of curtains, old lace curtains, however you, you know, just cut them in one inch strips or four inch strips or whatever you want. Um, that's a great way to get lace as well. And if it's too white, do what I just did with the seam binding and um, stain it. You'll be fine. It'll look great. I'm glad you guys are finding me. Yay. 
You all must be East Coasters. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time people, right? Because, yeah, I know I'm too early for other, my other people that might be watching. So, okay, let's throw this one in right here beside. We'll kind of do a little chunky one just to, um, just to kind of deflect this other piece of whatever in case it's not soft or anything. I love the idea of it when I saw it in my in my drawer. Um, so I thought I'm gonna throw it in and see what happens. Oh, is that microwave driving me this? Okay. So what I'm gonna do, oh yeah I got it too long. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to just tack glue it. I don't know that I want it in the middle, although I don't think it'll I better leave it in the middle because I don't know that it will make the turn. Somebody must be mowing out. <laughs> it must be my neighbor mowing. I'm gonna tack glue it um, to hold it in place, okay? Uh, instead of tying it, because it's kind of thick, okay? So we're just gonna tack that, and then I'm gonna shove all of my lace over into it, and if I need to tie a piece over top or lay something over top, I will. Okay, so that's where we are, and yes, I have this too long. So I'm gonna cut it long. Or, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so here's where we are. Okay, and see how it's all gonna kind of mesh together. There, I need to smush it together. There, so we've cut, we're kind of making a tassel, okay? Kind of making a tassel. I'll see what these pieces. This is just an extra piece, don't really need it, but we'll throw it in there. You can join the party. What the heck? Let's see, let's get it. We're not wasting, you never wanna waste this stuff. Okay. Okay. All right, so now let's tie in something fun. Um, or, so I've got my little, oh gosh, it's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. Uh, it's, yeah, let's tie in something fun here. And I may even have, I thought I had a bag of tags. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some coins on the website for you guys too. Um, yeah, here's my bag of tags. So I have some tags. I may put a tag across that. Just to, and this one's too big. It's exactly what I want, but it's, oh, here's a little one. I may do that right there, not right out of the gate, but just to kind of cover how that one is attached. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to push those aside. I need something um, blingy maybe, just a little strip of, or something shiny. Uh, let's see, what we, there's an empty envelope. That's not really good. Let's see what we have here for vintage jewelry. Okay, this is probably, oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to cut this apart because it is, oh, can I get in there? Oh, oh I gotta crush the stone, the one of them here. Mm. No, it's really tight. It's just tacked. Oh, it's just tacked in one spot. Oh, I see. They're really pushed together. Okay, there's no. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right, let's keep going. Let me see what else I have. More of the same. Uh, oh, here's one. Here's one that's loose. Uh, that one's got a. Oh, here. Let's see what this going to do. So if I put this on there then I could, there's a hole over here, and you know I never like to leave the holes show, so I'm thinking I could put that, oh yeah, put that diamond there and hang that down, yep, 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 yep. Okay, so here we go, there's a hole right there, and rather than putting a ribbon in it, which is what I usually do, or I put a button over top of it, I did this, okay? And then I'm just gonna let this vintage chain whatever hang, okay? So when I hook this to this, we're gonna have that, all right? Okay, all right, so, let's see if I can get this so it's not 
point. So there, yeah, I just kind of want that whispered in there. So we'll cover that up just a little bit. It was a little strong there. Okay. All right. And then is that all this one? I don't, I don't really need to overdo it. Um, plenty of elements in there. I think it's good. Uh, let's see. I, I didn't bring down any pearls. That would have been a good thing too. Maybe, let's see, though, I've got gold and silver and copper and, <laughs> and bronze. Kind of doesn't really bother me all that much. Um, did I just find, oh, who is it that's wanting, yes, I did. Okay, good, well, good. I just thought, <laughs> that's funny, she could watch me. Who was that? I've been talking to her back and forth. Shoot, her name's on my list. Oh, wow. I just found what I was looking for for you. So, I knew I would, even you said, you're going to find it in the funniest place. Well, I just did. <laughs> you're right. Oh, yeah, cute. Let's get this in here. Super duper cute. Uh, let me see. I want the other end, though. Let's see how the other end falls. Uh, better. Probably a little, well, it's probably the same, actually. Yeah, it's actually the same. Okay, so it's gonna fall in the middle of this gold chain and I don't know what that's gonna do. Let's just see what happens to this gold chain if I cut it. Cut it. Okay. Oh, I think it's okay. Is it here? Actually, did it break? Oh, there. Actually, that just came off. And this one then is gonna come off. It's a decorative chain, so there's um, some stuff hanging. But, uh, I don't know how to explain to you what's happening. There's like three or four loops together. So I'll get one out of here. Oh, come on. It's really been set up. Okay, hang on a minute. Let me, oh, I see it's been closed. Okay, can I get you to open? I, did I bring my jewelry pullers? I think they're in the other room. Okay, that should have did it, and it did. Okay, so then I'm wondering if I want to, like, I just think that's too much. Too much. Okay, so let me hot glue the clasp of this necklace onto the back of this tag, and then we're going to glue that tag down, and we'll be the rock. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, is that enough glue? Oh, is it? I think so. That'll do, that will do. Oh, it's so cute, okay. All right, so then I'm just going to put a line of glue here. And I'm gonna stick that right onto all of the lace and all of the fabric and all of the seam binding and whatever else tied onto here. And then let me hold this up and show you what we have. And I've shown you how I hang mine on my wall. So here you go, here's what we've created. This is an old bit for a horse. And then look how we've made it pretty and interesting. I think it's just super, like, what is that? And nobody has anything like this hanging at their house, except me. <laughs> so there you go. I love how the little pearls are showing up. You guys like it? Oh, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now that I've shown you that one, let me show you, I took one off of my wall. I found this really cool hunk of wood and it had this metal thing on it. And I knew immediately that I wanted to do something like that with this. And I did and I love it. And I put a hanger on the back of it so that I can hang it on the wall. And I added, what all is in here? I have a key. These are those necklaces that I sold you guys. So I, I um, just cut some of the ball chain off and hung my necklace on here. Uh, I think I might have added a key to it. And then I have a little brass tag that I found. Oh, you guys, <laughs> people are texting me happy birthday. Here's a piece of fringe off of a curtain, an old curtain I saved. And here's a piece of vintage pearls. And then I did the tag across the front and I just tried twine in that hole. 
And there you go. So there's all different, you can see the different laces, the different colors, which give you texture and stuff too. So there's that one. That one hangs in my office. And then this is another horse bit and it hangs right as you come in my kitchen door. So here's another one. And this is what I did with it. And again, I hung the necklace. I hung a little piece of rhinestone there. I've got a necklace chain with a key and a little, um, like a locker number. And then I have some old pearls. So I basically did kind of the same thing, but yet yeah, it's different, you know, different length, different, just, it's just, it's the same, but different. Um, okay. So, uh, let's see. Oh, I've got my typewriter keys. I was thinking about hanging a T, um, a typewriter key, a T. I've got a bunch of these on the website, you guys there. What are they? I think they're 19, no, they're not. I don't know how much they are. You have to check because I think I marked them down from that. That says 28. I think they're cheaper than that. If not, I need to do that. I need to mark them down, put them on sale. Maybe we'll just put them on sale. That's the easiest way to go. Um, let's see. So I have another one. I wish I would have brought like this one. I picture rusty bolts with just, and I didn't bring anything like that. Um, but yeah, I picture rusty bolts hanging from stained muslin only no lace and rusty bolts and washers hanging off of this one. So I'm going to save that one and do that. I didn't bring any downer I would show you. So what I would do is tie on the tie on the shred, okay, tie it on just like I just did. And then down here I'd leave it a little extra long and I would tie the um tie the rusty bolt right on to the end of this. Okay, so it would kind of dangle down. Do I have anything like that here handy? I don't know. Oh uh, here. Well, it's too hard to get to. But you you know what I mean. Um Let's see here. So let's do, we'll do one more. Um, this one's kind of cool. It's like a bicycle chain. That one's kind of cool. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know what this one is. I'm not sure it's a bit, but it's the idea of a bit. I, I'm not sure. Like, would that go in their mouth? I'm not, that just looks painful. I don't know. And then I have this one with these things hanging off the side, which I thought, let's do this one. Let's do this one because I, I thought it would be really cute to hang a little key right here or a little, you know, something, a keyhole or, you know, like a keyhole or a little something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. So let's do one more. I kind of liked all of the lace that I did before. I didn't even do any seam binding, but that's all right. So that's probably a pretty good length. Let's just go with that. So let's tie some seam binding in here. So just one tie is all it needs. Uh, do I have a lighter? Here's a lighter one. Oh, but it's too short. Is this one long enough? just and we'll just cut it down a little bit okay so we got this piece okay we're just going to do one more um oh is that microwave oh uh, you know what i hear it sometimes and sometimes i don't so i'm kind of blocking it out i hope i hope you guys aren't saying go get that microwave shut up gotta run see you judy i haven't even looked up at you guys i'm sorry Thank you, Judy. I'm sure it'll be a great day. I appreciate you. I appreciate that. Uh, have a good day, you two. You two. Uh, okay, I'm just thinking, boy, I'd love to get up and show you. Okay. All right, so there's that one. And then let's mix in a little bit of lace here just for interest. Okay. So I've got a piece of this. Here, we're going to add this in. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. The chain one, thank you. Oh, it's kind of cruel. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought you said. Cute, yes, cruel. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I was thinking too. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure they all have their purpose. Um, but I thought it was cool. <laughs> I thought it was cool for what I want to do with it. Not so much for the horse, but I thought it was 
good for me. Um, boy, that's so close to long enough. But if I tie it, it's going to shorten it. It's all right. I'm going to go for it. I can still cut the length of all of these because I like the white just for contrast. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'll tie it as tight as I can. Yeah, it's lace. Maybe it'll stretch down. And I need to spray it. I don't have any water here. I just have my coffee. So, <sighs> Thank you, Elaine. I've had horses my whole life. I've never seen a chain. Okay, well that I'm not even sure because it's a lot wider of a of an area, but maybe they're for different. Like, see, this is that gold one I was telling you about that I wanted to do up with gold, and then there's this one. I've tried to pick up all different ones. Like I've never seen one with this before. So, and again, this one's longer. So I don't know. Maybe this is like for a zookeeper. <laughs> for a giraffe or something. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you never know. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, this is a nice piece. I didn't use this on the other one. Love this. This is tatting. So this is called tatting. Uh, well, if you're, um, I mean, I would never pay more than $20 for one. Um, you can find them. I don't know. You can, if you're really a good shopper, you can find them for ten dollars. Um, yeah, I mean, you gotta be a really good shopper. I've seen some sometimes that are cheaper. You know, sometimes like yard sale people, they just want rid of it, and you might get it for a couple. But I never got one for a couple bucks. But you never know. Like that's the thing with this stuff. It's not like suggested retail price at a store. Um, you know, when I. Um, do my wholesale shopping, they always tell you the suggested price that you should uh, sell it for so that you're not undercutting your fellow stores. Everybody kind of runs the same prices. Um, there's no rule like that. So, you know, maybe you're a horse owner and you're sick of them and you <laughs> want rid of all of it and you might sell them for a dollar. Uh, so I don't, it, yeah, that's a tough one to answer with antiques. So I would say if you find it under $10, you're getting a deal. If you find it over $20, keep shopping. How about that? Your mother tatted, or your grandmother tatted. Oh, Janet. Some things in the yard. Oh, yes. I can't, I would love, I love the tatting. Here's another piece of tatting. I love it. That's beautiful. Let's put that in there, too. So again, all of this that I'm using, in case you guys missed it, is it, the this doesn't look good in a jar, but the big fat looks great, kind of, you know, twirled up and put in a jar, kind of bundled up. Oh, that one's a hard one to tie. I'm not sure I can tie this. Um, um, but it looks great, to even just displayed in a jar if you're not using it yet. If you're doing lampshades, the fatter, you know, the fatter the better for sure. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't do that. I'm going to have to tack glue this one on there. I can't tie it. I was afraid of that, but I thought I'd try. Okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Um, but yeah, so uh, what was I saying? So yeah, all the different, like if you see it and it's like, oh, I just wanted skinny, grab it because it is hard to, it is hard to find and um, it can be very, very expensive too. So sticker shocked. That's just the way it is. Um, okay. So I'm going to tack that down and pull and no one will ever know that that's not tied on there. Let me show you. There's a string, but it's tacked. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So that's probably... That's a little skimpy, but I want to see what else I'm going to end up with in here. Um, maybe another piece of that chain. I really, I really like that, that chain. However, hmm, however, I loved all the different elements of it. Every time though, I end up cutting it through all of these loops. I try to just cut the outside loop, but it's like a swirly. Yeah. Let's do that again. Okay, okay. Oh, that'll 
was easier. Okay, so I'm, I don't have the back of the um, tag. I don't know that I'm gonna put a tag on this one, so I'm just gonna tack, tack this up in here. I'm digging out, dig, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys couldn't see, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I see a mad face, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so we're back. Uh, okay, so I'll show you. I'm sorry. Gosh. I really suck at this. All right, so I. Uh, oh, dummy. Okay. All right, so I just tacked it on, and then I made. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I see who did that? Or maybe they don't like my stars thing. But I got some stars for my birthday and I appreciate that. Thank you, Joyce. No mad, I know, mad face is just metal. You see my whole just, it just dropped. Everything drops. Oh, last night I had a mad face on something and it was one of my sweet, uh, what it, you sweet. Like I know she didn't mean to do it, <laughs> but it still looks bad on my count. Oh yeah, but I was devastated and then I saw what it was. I was like, oh, I know she didn't mean to do it. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's presumptuous of me, but I don't think she meant to do it. Uh, okay. All right. So let me show you a little trick. So see how you can let's see. Can you see in there? Yeah. See right there how you can. I just see that mad face stuck on the stars. So that's all I see when I look up. Aw, thank you, Susie. <laughs> you love the project. Oh, you bought bits on Amazon. And you know what? Now that you say that, is there is there a Tim Holtz thing like this? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, these are old, rusty, real, you know. And I don't know if, if maybe in the Amazon Handmade. I don't know. Hi, Pat. I've never been to Amazon hand, Handmade, but I've heard of it. Yes, you could do it on a tag. I love you. You get those creative juices going. So let me show you what I did to disguise that where I hot glued that um, down, I just added a little rhinestone piece, okay? So that was a good little trick. Okay, so now I think I need to dangle something off up here since this one's really unique. Um, let's see here. So yeah, I was thinking just a little key, but I actually kind of like, kind of like this tag, $6.99. Kind of like the tag. I think I'm going to do that. You know, it's a prideful, unusual piece. So let's let's display it. Let's show it off. Uh, okay, so do I want to tie a bow and make it even more look at me? I don't think so. I think I want to keep it to where the emphasis is on the tag. So, whack it and tie it. And I might tack it, whack it, and tack it. Oh, there's that mad face. It's just sitting there looking at me. Get mad about my stars. So many people ask about stars, like what are they? So I tried to put that in. Um, it just it just automatically populates. I can. Sorry, but the stars are so helpful for us. Gosh, I see people get hundreds of stars in a, well, I have 200. <laughs> oh, that was for my birthday. <laughs> so, okay. Can you, yeah. I gotta get off here because I'm messing up. Okay, so I'm just gonna tack glue that down so that it holds in place. I'm sorry, you guys are looking at me. Um, Okay, so, oh, how cute. Yeah, isn't that interesting? So I pulled the lace up. That's exactly what I pictured in my mind. So this would hang on the wall and it would look like this now. Um, I think I need to tie something else into here. Something maybe here-ish, like right in there. One more thing. And I feel like it needs to be dark to pull the dark. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? Oh, there's some keys. Oh, maybe just a dark key hanging in there would be good. And there is, let's see, we have, 
Oh, there's a cute little one. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. Okay. That's a good one because it's kind of chunky like this. I like that one. Okay, so um, what do I want to tie that off with? You know what? Let's just use a piece of seam binding, right? Oh, you know what? I need another piece of uh, light here. No, is that long enough? Oh, yes, it is. I need another piece of light. Oh, well, that's not actually as light as that first piece. It's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie one, like a tie your shoe tie. This would be a cabinet key, I believe, not a skeleton key. So when you now. Oh, you're still here. Oh my gosh, I just got kicked off. I don't know what happened. My internet just went wild. I lost everybody. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'll am i keep going since you're back. Uh, oh, 49 of you stayed. And I got another 100 stars in that little blip. Thank you for my birthday stars. That's what we're going to call them, birthday stars. Okay, I'm going to finish this up and we're getting out of here. This has been a train wreck. <laughs> Between me forgetting to put my thing down, which just reminded me, and... Um, now my internet froze, and so it's gonna do it again, probably. So let's just wrap this one up and call it a day. Um, so there we go, and there we go. And the necklace is in there. Oops, I can see it more from the back. So when you hang it on the wall, you know, you'll kind of adjust it to where everything is showing. So there's that. And I love the little tag hanging off of it. So that's awesome one. Love that. So, okay, you guys, I'm sorry for the, the beautiful, thank you, Susan. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, all these girls are so good at it. And then there's me. <laughs> I tried to join in, but yeah, <laughs> I'm the, yeah, <laughs> I'm the train wreck. So, okay, that's all I have. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm sorry for, for getting to put it down and, oh, hi, Deborah. Um, so let me show you real quick. So we did, like I made this, I bought this bit for horses and I decorated it. Um, I added a key just to kind of pull that dark color down. And then I added the little necklace here just for some little bling and then just different pieces of lace and um, muslin shreds. So we made that one and then we made... Well, we didn't make this one today. I've had, I made this one quite a while ago in our group last year, I think. And I just hung some keys off of it with lace and there's some pearls. And I think there's, some, yeah, there's a piece of bling right there and a button. And the button is there to hide where I hot glued the bling to it. Okay, so that's another trick. Uh, and then this one was one that I've already, I made a long time ago. I just found this unique piece and I thought it was the same idea chances of you finding it as slim but you know keep your eye just for you know just for thinking about it i can't believe the internet hasn't kicked me off again usually it does it every 15 seconds once it starts and then this one is the last one i loved all of the hardware hanging off of it i don't know what what it is i found all of these up in amish country so they're unique well, there it had a little kink in it and then I, t I added in, there's a tape measure and a little bit of bling here, and I have a little necklace here, just like the other one. And then I added lace and seam binding, or not seam, I didn't use seam binding. Oh, yes, I did. There's seam binding there, and I used muslin shreds. So that's what you've been missing out on. So I have, what do I have here? Three, I have four more. So I'll probably just sit here and work on those. Um, I think I'm going to get off here, though, because I'm such a mess, and that mean face is looking at me right in the eye over my stars. So someone didn't like my stars. Um, so yeah, I kind of, and my microwave keeps beeping because I showed you guys how to um, stain the muslin or the, uh, the seam binding, the stuff. I showed you how to make it boinky, like it's springy instead of just straight off the roll, which the roll is over there. And then I showed you how to dry it. So catch the replay if you want to see all of that stuff. I'm doing my bathroom. And I have a horse bit. And oh, well, good. Who said that, Pat? Good for you. Thank you, Nancy, for sprinkling. It was kind of a, a 
train wreck one. Um, but thank you, Sue Ann. Thank you for jumping on. That's awesome. Hey, Tammy Penn, another excellent. Okay. Yes, because you're right, Janet. That may stay. Maybe I'll just do a fun. Hey, I have eight. I have eight. I have 800 stars. Somebody sent me a wallop of them. Holy cannoli. That tells that bad face to go away. <laughs> go away, bad face. Oh, I'm hoping it was a mistake. Sometimes they are. You're right. Yeah, no, it won't show me. Not on my phone. Not during the live. Thank you. For, I have 900 stars. Holy, was there a party I missed? Did we have a star party? I missed it. I hope not, because I've never, I've made it twice, I've heard, but I've never seen like all the fun that you get like, like explosion of party stuff. I've seen other people make it, but anyway, thank you guys. Thank you so much for understanding about my internet, understanding that I forgot to pull my camera down so you're looking at the top of my head. Oh my gosh, my hair needs done. My girl's on vacation in Florida, so she had to push me back another uh, week. So I thought it was today I was going because it's my normal amount of time. And no, it's uh, next Friday. So my hair is disgusting. Oh, it's a bad day. So, all right, you guys, thank you. Thank you for the stars, 900 stars. Um, that's pretty freaking awesome. Happy birthday to me. Thank you guys. I appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the stars so much. They're so helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, have a great day. And I hope you guys share your pictures. If you do any projects like this, feel free to put them on here every Friday. It seems like every Friday we've kind of been posting about letting us see your creations and you're all so crafty and I love, 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 love seeing all of the different styles of people that are here. And so I love that. I'll be looking for that. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts and thank you for the stars. I don't know how to make a star with my hands, but thank you. So have a great day, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.